today. Me and him are like partners in crime. Zio got with his partner's partner. He was like my big brother, son. We was in the same dance crew. Now he's flipping out. I don't feel you're the right man for her. We have a kid together. Plus, glowing girls. Great dancing boys. And DJ Small Beats. It's all going down at Club Springer. Right now. Show. For one night only, you have a VIP pass to our exclusive club. Yeah! Yep. Yeah! Now, we need you to get on your feet and get the party started. What would a night at the club be without some hot and sexy women? Please welcome our go-go girls to the show. Yeah! says he may be young but he's ready for the family life please welcome Derek to the show hey Derek welcome to the show hey how you doing uh, so what's going on well I mean my girl's five months pregnant and everything I'm finna your girl's to be a five father. months pregnant yes sir yeah yes, sir. are you excited about that oh, yes sir it's the happy day of my life it's well good good for you life. well if you're happy <laughs> If you're so happy, why are you here? I mean, honestly, I mean, I really don't know, but I just know it's not good. <laughs> oh, oh, someone told you to be here. You, uh, you, you mean, the, who told you to be here? The mother of your child? Yes, sir. Oh, okay. Now, how, well, how long have you been together? We've been together for a year, um, January the 14th, actually. Okay, so you've been together for a year, and uh, was it love at first sight? Oh, yes, sir. She, I mean, she just took my breath away the first day. Okay, well, you just said that you were concerned that being here may not be good news. Is there anything going on in the relationship which I would mean, make you worry? Well, we had a bumpy start. I mean, she cheated on me in the first beginning of the relationship. Oh. You know, I mean, I mean, I can say I contributed to it. You know, I, I've lied to her a couple times, but I've never cheated on her or anything. Okay. You think she's still seeing that guy, whoever she cheated with? I believe so. Oh, you think there's still a, an item? I still oh. think there's something there. Oh. So that's what you're worried about. Yeah, that's what I'm worried about. Yeah, but, you know, she's having a baby with you. Maybe that'll... I mean, anybody can have a baby with somebody. That doesn't mean that, that you know... she cares about you, yeah. Exactly. So you're worried about that. Yeah. Okay, well, good luck. Well, let's find out. Uh, Shani is her name. Let's bring her out. <laughs> Hi, Shani. Welcome to the show. So you've been together for a year now, he says. Yes. And uh, how would you describe the relationship? Um, I mean, it started off good, and you know, he you know started with the lion, and now I'm just miserable. Oh, now it's miserable. Yeah. But you're you're having a child. Yeah, that he wants the child. I, you know, I just went along with it. 
Yeah. Well, you certainly were there. Yeah. <laughs> Just thinking. But, I mean, um, I'm here to tell you, you know, I have cheated on you again. What do you mean you cheated on me? I mean, you know, about five months ago, I did cheat again. I mean, you've been constantly accusing me, so I mean, I might as well just do it. <laughs> well, you said you got pregnant five months ago. Right, and the baby may not be yours. Oh! No, hold on, hold on, just one moment, hold up. You mean to tell me that the baby, you said this last time. You said that the baby wasn't mine, but now you're saying, you, now you said you was just playing. Yeah, because I seen how upset you was, and I was scared to tell you the truth at the time, but now I really don't care no more because I really don't want to be with you. Are you sure the baby's not his? Well, I'm not for sure, but, you know, it's a big So it could be his or it could be this other guy's? Yes. Why would you do this to me? It's not worth it no more. It ain't worth it. No. What you mean it ain't worth it? I mean, I'm getting tired of you nagging me. You, you act like... You the bitch in the relationship. <laughs> I mean, I can't take it no more. I'm done. I cannot take it. Baby. No, baby. please. Baby. I can't do it anymore. What if, what if he is the father? And then he can just take his baby and leave. You don't, you don't even want your own child? I mean... I don't want to deal with him. If I keep the baby, then he's going to come around and continue to try to be with me, and I really don't want to be with him no more. So I'd rather, you know, just to end it. And he can just have Even the baby. Even if it means go. losing your child. Yeah. I got other kids. <laughs>the relationship um i mean it started off good and now i'm just miserable you're having a child yeah that he want the child i you know i just went along with it yeah well you certainly were there yeah <laughs> just thinking about five months ago i did cheat again and the baby may not be yours I can't take it no more. I'm done. I cannot take it. I can't do it anymore. What if, what if he is the father? And then he can just take his baby and leave. Okay, listening to her, why do you love her? I hear what she's saying, but that ain't, that ain't, that ain't what she feel. I know that ain't her. I oh. know it ain't her. Her heart's better than that. It does sound pretty cold to say you don't care about your child. I mean, that... I mean, Jerry, at this point, I really don't even, I don't care anymore. I don't. I'm just stressed to that point. Like, he constantly harassed me. He, he nags me. He's always looking over my shoulder when I'm on the phone. He always accusing me of cheating. Like, I can only take so much. I only accuse you because you be on Facebook. You always saying that. That's my only entertainment. That's your only entertainment. You always saying, you always talking to all these dudes on there. That's entertainment for you. You saying that that's a dude from high school you knew. That's a friend um, from your childhood. Yeah. How many friends from childhood you going to have? It's like 30 or 40 of them. I mean, I mean, come on now. You need to let me know something. Who's Raymond? Is Raymond... Raymond? Yeah. I had a one night stand with Raymond. It may be his baby. Do you know Raymond? Yeah, man. That's my friend, man. That's my homie. That's, matter of fact, matter of fact, that's your niece's boyfriend. I don't care. You don't care? No, I don't. That's your niece. What, what about your niece? 
hey, it ain't nothing personal with her, you know, but hey, I, at this point, I don't care. I don't want him either. It's oh, just something. Oh, oh. It, it, oh, you don't want him either, but you, you just wanted the sex. Well, let's bring out Raymond. What's called? She just, we had a one night stand and that was everything. So I it's still a possibility so it could be your baby. What's called? It could be the people on Facebook's baby. That's amazing. Listen. You can get pregnant on Facebook? <laughs> hey, the new technology, Jerry, they ain't think it happened. So, so right, man. I talked to you about all my problems, how she cheated on me in the beginning of the relationship, how I'm, I'm, I'm happy that that's my baby and I get to be a father, how my father ain't never been there. And you mean to tell me, bro, that you, you mean to tell me, you mean to sit up here and tell me that that baby ain't, that, that you cheated with my girl right. and she telling yeah. me that baby might not be mine? That might not be mine, not be yours. So what's called? DJ, you see how she treated you and stuff. What's called? When I first came to that shit, you told me all about your problems and stuff. You know, we, what's called? Me and you almost had a fight over there when we first met. It was called, we had a confrontation and stuff, and things things happened. Yeah, I, I had sex with her, but it wasn't that good. Okay, so you say, oh, okay. Okay, so so you see how she treated me, and you know how she been treating me wrong, and you gonna do me wrong, boy? You supposed to be my friend, my homie, my ace? Hey, I'm, a, I'm a dog. I'm, I'm, I'm a dog. You a dog? I'm a dog. You a dog. Everything in my life, I show my whole life story to you. All right, who's Elijah? That's my girlfriend. That's your girlfriend. Yeah. Now, don't even say that. So your girlfriend is her niece. Yeah. So you're sleeping with your girlfriend's aunt. Keep it in the family. <laughs> There's Elijah. <clears throat> Whoa, no, 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 I can't believe you. How you treat me like that with my own auntie? With my own auntie? With my auntie? Bro, are you serious? Are you serious? I can't believe it. No. Baby. Really? Oh. Why? You know, man, you thought I was Why? a good dude for you, but Why? I, 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 I messed up. You messed oh, up? I'm very, you know I love you. You know I do a lot for you. Are you oh. serious? I, I'm so serious. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, what do you want to say to your... Seriously? Yeah. So you're going to cheat on, have, uh, cheat on me, uh, help with me? Whatever. <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say. Yep. I mean... So why did you do it? I you mean, knew a, that I wanted to have a baby. You messed okay. up something special for me care, I don't to care have about my that. first. Huh? I don't care about no, that. No, you got three other kids. Why do you want to have more? For what? I didn't what want to have no baby. He yeah. wanted the baby. Okay, who? He's a good man. That's why he wants to have a kid. He don't have kids. Take something special for me. <laughs> Kick your ass, it don't matter. When that baby drop, your ass is mine. Okay, whatever. Okay. Whatever. Okay. You know all right. Beautiful too. Yeah. So what's gonna what's gonna happen here? Uh first of all, you still wanna be with her? Yeah, of course I'm gonna be with her. Do you wanna be with him? Yes, but he always <laughs> He never spent any quality time with me. That's why this probably happened in the first place. That's probably why it happened. He always working, he on his days off, he always with everybody else with me. Sleeping together is not quality time. Sleeping together is not quality time. I put you money think? in your pocket, Donna. Okay, I put money in your pocket. it don't matter. Let's cut it out M then. Money can't buy love. Money can't buy love. Yeah. So what you think, money can just buy my love? Are you serious? When we first home, we first started together. Are you serious? Start, are you serious? I'm, I'm the, the one home. that did stuff for you. I'm the one that got you a job, got you together. 
when you couldn't do nothing for yourself. Are you serious? Right there, get to me. Uh -huh. You was called. You got me a job. We, we had a discussion about that before. You, you still saying it. What do you say? Ain't this 2011? Leave the past in the past. <laughs> oh, baby. Ba ba Welcome back. What would a club be without a DJ? Let's get the party started with DJ Small Beats. Yeah. And you can't have a club without break dancers. Please welcome Dance Stylers Entertainment to the show. says that a night at the strip club changed his life. Please welcome TJ to the show. Boy. Hey, TJ, what's going on? So you were at a strip club, huh? Yeah, I was at a strip club. And um, what happened? Uh, me and my buddies were there. We were drinking, smoking, just having a good time. Yeah. Uh, 18-year-old. <laughs> and then uh, I got a little bit drunk. and No. I, yeah. I, I, I saw this. Uh, she was just banging Jerry. I mean, she looked she looked good, Jerry. Yeah, yeah. I, and uh, <laughs> so we started talking in the club, and yeah. we went outside. We hopped in the car, and we didn't talk no more than Jerry. No, no. The talking was done, and she got on me, and 
she could she could ride, Jerry. So why are you here? Uh, Sounds like it's all going great for you. Yeah, but oh. my girlfriend don't know about her. Oh. oh. Well, let's hope she doesn't watch this show. Yeah. Uh, oh, no, you, so you're here to tell your girlfriend what yeah, you did? Yeah, I'm here to tell her. Why? Because you feel bad about it and you want to still be with your girlfriend? No, I don't, I don't, I don't really have feelings for my girlfriend no more. Oh. Yeah, it's kind of it's went downhill. Is it because you met this girl at the strip yeah, club? Yeah, she's a lot more exciting than my girlfriend is. Now, how, how old is your, uh, first of all, how old is your girlfriend? My girlfriend's 19. We, okay. got, we got two kids together. Now, how, you have two kids? How old are you? I'm, uh, I'm 18. So you're 18 years old, you have two kids. Yes, yes I do, Jerry. And, and, and you go to a strip club, and uh, now you want to leave your girl. She's the mother of your children. Yeah, yeah but things have just went downhill, Jerry. She, uh, she just let herself go after we had the kids. She, she don't do nothing at home. She's real lazy. All she likes to do is sit, watch TV, eat. And I like to go out, hang out with my friends, drink, but you, party. You, but you're a father now. You've got yeah, responsibilities. I, I, yeah. yeah, I love my kids. I take care of them. I work hard every day. I come home. It's like a routine day for me. I work construction outside every day. Uh, come home, take care of the kids, and I just, when I get paid, all I gotta do is buy diapers and formula, and I don't wanna have to do that, Jerry. I wanna be able to buy some weed or some alcohol or something. So we started talking in the club, and yeah. we went outside, we hopped in the car, and we didn't talk no more. Yeah. Yeah. So you're here to tell your girlfriend what yeah, you did? Yeah, I'm here to tell her. Why? Because you feel bad about it and you want to still be with your girlfriend? No, I don't, I don't, I don't really have feelings for my girlfriend no more. Oh. Yeah, it's kind, of, it's kind of went downhill. Is it because you met this girl at the strip yeah, club? Yeah, she's a lot more exciting than my girlfriend is. We okay. got, we got two kids together. Now, how, you have two kids. How old are you? I'm, uh, I'm 18. Now, who's Tabitha? That's my girlfriend. That is your girlfriend. Yes. Well, she's outside the studio, so she hasn't heard any okay. of this. And her name is Tabitha. Here's your girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, hi, Tabitha. Welcome to the show. Hi. And uh, you guys, you already have two children together. Right. And 18, 19 years old. So that's obviously an early start. Was it love at first sight? We, we was together. We've been together for five years, Jerry. Ever since I was 13 years old, we met in eighth grade. What, in, in recess? Uh, <laughs> yeah. So you met, yeah, so you met in school and yeah, your childhood right. sweethearts. Yeah. Uh, so you don't know why you're here. No, I don't. Well, why is she here? She seems like a lovely lady. Um, you know that I love the kids to death, and I always take care of the kids. Um, but it just feels like I'm stuck. I do the same thing every day, and you just you sit at home and do nothing while I work and pay bills and buy the kids diapers and stuff. And well, I, I just I don't want to do that. I want to I don't want to have to settle down. Now. I'm 18 years old. I want to be young and live life. You know, so. Uh, me and my buddies went to the strip club about a week ago, and uh, we was drinking and stuff. And I uh, met this girl there, and we slept together. Why? We just do the same thing. It's, I mean, sex is we the have same. We two kids. But sex is the same every day. Every time we have sex, it's uh, you're on bottom, I'm on top. Every time. <laughs> hey, I mean, it's boring after a while. 
You want to mix it up? You want to mix it up, Jerry? And she don't. She she boring. Do you love her? Uh, I love her, but I'm not in love with, with her no more. No, Jerry. Well, here's what I don't understand. Why at this age, knowing how you felt, did you keep having children? I mean... I mean, it's like one right after the other. It's I not mean, she's had four months to get back in the way. I mean, when I first met her, she was, she was banging hot, but... I mean, she's had four months to get back down the side and stuff, and, and she was... Do you Does it, does it sound a little bit shallow? I mean, I mean, yeah, I guess so, Jerry. But I mean, you know, you're criticizing her because she had, she's had two children and she's. But she's had four months, Jerry. I mean, walk around the block a couple times. I, don't I mean, need to walk, walk around the block. Run! Do sit up. Something. In the you, winter. You won't do anything. In the winter. I mean, there, there's sports places you can go to and. And you're gonna watch. The lose kids. a couple pounds. That's all I'm asking. <laughs> All right, Tiffany is this uh, is the woman at the club. Mm -hmm. So you don't know her. No. No. Well, here's Tiffany. Customer, basically, right? You're, you're you're performing at the club, and he comes and he's obviously attracted to you. And but did you view him as wow, this is a boyfriend? Um, not at first. But then the, he's cute and innocent. And Ain't she hot? I'm Barry. sure that's what she, she says about it, every guy. What? I'm sure that's what she says about every guy. <sighs> no, just just him. I'm <laughs> sure. So and, and you, so you want to be with him? Um. <laughs> well, what about, I mean, is the, do you feel a little bit sorry here? They have two no, children not together? not at all. Not at all. I don't know her. I don't you care. You know about me? Oh, I knew about you. Okay, so that didn't mean anything? No, not at all. <laughs> all right, so what, what do you want to say to him? I mean, are you going to be with me? No, I, I don't want to be with either one of them, Jerry. I just want, I want to be single. <laughs> I want to be a normal 18 year old, have fun. You know, 18 year old, they're supposed to get a bunch of girls, and have what sex about all the time. Kid? You know, go out and party, be a normal 18 year old kid. And I can't, I can't do that, Jerry. I mean. So you don't want to be with her then? No, that was just a, that was just a one time thing, Jerry. We'll be back. You guys are not together right now. We have a kid together. I don't feel you're the right man for her. I'm thinking about what's best for her. My guests today say that dancing is the way to a woman's heart. Please meet Zio. He says his friend's girl has danced into his heart. Zio, what's going on? How you doing, Jerry? Good. The situation is, I've known this girl since she was about 11, and we grew up together, and I've had feelings for her for a long time now. Yeah. 
Uh, she got with my friend who was new to the group, and I never got a chance to tell her how I felt about her. Yeah. I really liked the girl. Wait, you said new to the group? Yeah, we have a dance group. Oh, okay. And uh, when he joined, you know, they hit it off, and they had a baby together. Oh, okay. And I never got to tell her how I felt. So I'm here to let her know how I feel about her. About a week ago, I was out dancing at Funbox, and we bumped into each other, and we just hit it off, you know, dancing all night, working the dance floor, talking, having a great time. And sparks were flying, and I made my move. You know, they're not together right now, so I felt this was my time. Did you have sex that night? No, we didn't. Oh, okay. We just made out, but I felt <clears throat> the passion, you know. Yeah. It was one of those things... Well, you did, did she? I'm sure she did. Well, okay. But, they, but she has a child with the other guy in your group. Yes. How close are you with him in terms of friendship? Me and him are like partners in crime, you know? Yeah. We basically do everything together. He's like a brother to me. Do Over the years, he's grown closer to me. Do you feel bad about it, or are you saying, well, they're not together anymore? I don't. I don't feel I should feel bad about it. You know, they're yeah. not together right now, and even though they have a baby together, he's not, and he's not in the picture. Okay. All right, I'll let you uh, talk to her. And she's been backstage watching, so I guess she knows what you're going to say. Here is Melanie. Wow. This is crazy. Um, I don't think this is, like, a good idea. Why isn't it a good idea? Because... I was just going through something, and I mean, that night, it was just problems. I mean, you had my back and stuff. I've known you since I was 11, but I look at you like a big brother. Like, but I know you felt something that night. I sure did. I mean, to be honest, I was thinking about James the whole time. Oh. How could you think about somebody that's not even there for you and the baby? He's I, never around. Well, he still loves me. How, do you, how can you say that? He Where has he been? He why, why did you break up? Because um, he's not ready to be in a relationship. Oh. And this is what I mean, Jerry. He's not ready for her. I am. Yeah, but, like, you're there for me like a big brother. I can't look at you like that. Like, and I want to be more than your big brother. That's but, why I stepped up that night. Well, that's a problem because I don't feel the same way. Why would you want to be with somebody who doesn't want to be with you? And that's how I feel about James. Well, let's bring James out, find out what he has to say about it. Here's James. Huh? I don't feel you're the right man for her. That's That's right. I don't, I don't feel that way. You guys are not together right now. I have a kid. We have a kid together. I don't feel you're the right man for her. I'm thinking about what's best for her. You lucky you my friend, I'm not gonna put my hands on you. That's not what I came here for. So I'm gonna be a man about it. That's not what I came here for. Son, you, I came here for her. I'm not gonna make a fool of myself in front of son, her. You was like you was like my big brother, son. You was like my big brother. You was like my big brother, son. I'm not gonna make a fool of myself. Look at that picture. Look at that picture. I'm sorry. Look at that picture. I'm sorry. It was a mistake. Like, nah. we have a kid together. Nah. Well, they didn't have sex together, as I understand it. Did... I don't know that. Well, well, Do you know that? Is that? That's what they're saying. <laughs> well, okay, I was there. No, I wasn't. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. I would have been, but it's 9 o'clock in the evening and I'm asleep by then. Uh, no. All right, on a serious note, you want to be with him. Yeah, but... Do you love him? Yes. Do you want to be with her? I do. Oh, okay, well, that's, I do. that's new information, because we're working on the premise that you didn't want to be with her. That's why people are wondering why the anger. You may not approve that it's him, but if you don't want to be with her, then it doesn't become your business anymore. But if you still want to be with her, that's new. We'll talk to him. I mean, I feel like you brought this upon yourself, like, every, since I was pregnant, like, you were always talking to girls. Even when you was trying to make it work with me, like, 
I find text messages. We'll be in the couch, and the same time that you was cuddling with me, I'll see text messages to girls, and you're telling them you missed them. Like, how do you want to be what with me? What kind of man is that? How do you want to be with me? How are you trying to make it work with me? You're, you're reaching out to these people. Like, how can you be with me telling me you love me, and you're telling these girls that you miss them? Listen. Who are they? I'm s- listen, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Listen, listen. Stop crying. <laughs> stop crying. Stop crying. I'm sorry, all right? Son, you don't need... No. I never said I wanted to be with Fuck him. him. No. I never said I wanted to be with him. Don't do that. So now you're just gonna take him back easily like that? I love him. She is right about you being the bitch because she looks like a man. This is for my big buddy, Derek. We uh, realized that you broke your belt early in the segment, so me and my friends made you a new one. (laughs) Whatever. Whatever. girl in the red dress. I want to know why you came out beating on her. She's a whore. She's always going to be a whore. Why didn't you whip his ass? I think I'm better looking than all you guys there and I can get all your girls. is for the um, skinny pregnant girl and uh, that, that don't care about nothing. My question is, are you having a fourth child so your welfare check will go up? Oh. Hi. Um, this is for the girl in the pink belt. Honestly, if my boyfriend looked like a fat version of Carlton, I'd cheat on him too. <laughs> Our producers have decided that you guys had the uh, best comments, so there you go. You take us to the break. We'll be right right back back with Jerry's Jerry's final thoughts. (laughs) I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you all for being on the show, and good luck to you in the decisions that you make. I hope you can find some happiness. Uh, You know, most of us have been on both sides of the equation. We've dumped lovers and been dumped ourselves. Neither feels great. And remembering how bad we felt when we were in the vernacular of the day kicked to the curb, it's no wonder we don't feel very good when somebody else does it to us. The honorable thing to do, of course, when you lose interest in someone, is to let them know, to be sensitive to the time and commitment they put into the relationship. And while you can't continue to go with someone just because you don't want to hurt them by leaving, The person you're leaving is entitled to as much dignity and respect in the parting as you'd want. That, of course, is easier said than done. Most people like to avoid confrontation, particularly when they're feeling like the bad guy. But the least someone deserves who has opened up their heart to you is the truth, face to face. What goes round comes round. If you dump someone without explanation to sleep with somebody else, the person you'll really have difficulty sleeping with is yourself. Until next time, take care of yourself and each other. Yeah. 
If you think that was wild and crazy, then click here to keep watching. And don't forget to subscribe. All you have to do is click here. And one more thing, take care of yourself and each other.